All right. Long time no see. Uh, today's December 5th. I haven't, um, I haven't been recording for a reason, guys. So, last time, um, the last time I reported to you all, I believe I was, uh, telling you guys about the progression of my eye. So, at that time, I think I was having some swelling in the back of my eye. Well, they've gotten the swelling down, right, through a lot of medication, a lot of, a lot of pills and drops. So, that's gone down. But the problem is that I have swelling because there's blockage. If you look closely at my eye, not sure if you can see much, but there's something blocking or some probably like scar tissue that's blocking my cornea. And the way that functions is kind of like a stop for a sink because your eye produces fluid. Anyway, when that's blocked, the fluid in your eye doesn't drain into other parts of your eye. And um, it causes glaucoma. That's pretty much glaucoma. And what happens is the pressure goes up and it puts pressure on the back of your eye, like the nerve in the back of your eye. So I didn't want to do a seventh surgery, but it's looking like I might have to have a seventh surgery. And um, I got to be honest, mentally, I just didn't want to talk. Like I just, I know I'm supposed to be reporting all of my progress on this and, you know, all of that good stuff. But, you know, between my mom passing and my eye still being like, and, you know, having issues, I just didn't feel like talking to people, um, not online. So <clears throat> just came from the doctor. And uh, he's like, you know, yeah, your eye's doing better. The retina doctor, by the way. And he's like, well, I got to send you to the glaucoma, dude, because um, you've developed that. So I go to him next Monday and pretty much start, you know, the process. Either he'll, I mean, I don't know what he'll do. You know, maybe he'll put me on a medication Maybe he'll give me like a shot. Maybe he'll say, oh, no, no, we could probably treat that with, you know, an outpatient procedure. Maybe I'll give you like steroid, steroids injected directly into your eye. You know, maybe, maybe, maybe there's other options. Um, I don't think he'll be like, I'm hoping that he won't just decide to just, yeah, well, we're going to cut open your eye and we're going to put, you know, a nice little, uh, we're going to route a draining system like a freaking plumber into your eye. Um, I don't know what that's going to do to my vision, the quality of my vision. Uh, all I know is right now I'm, I'm still blurry because my, my cornea is not opening, closing, and focusing because there's a blockage. So if there's if the blockage is clear and the eye is draining, perhaps I'll regain that and my eye will you know, regain the ability to focus. Um, but uh, I don't know. I just got my fingers crossed. So, you know, speculating in the meantime. Uh, and I'm scared, to be honest with you. Uh, my eyes been through a lot, but, you know, I might need to take some time off from all the surgeries and, just take the pills, even though I hate taking the pills, and give my eye more time to heal. I don't know. I don't know. But I guess I'll keep you updated. But that's just to give you the rundown of where I've been. That's why I don't really re record as much, because I just, mentally, I'm just kind of out of it. For those of you who follow me from day one, you know that I was very optimistic in the beginning because it was like, it was unexpected. Everything was like, hey, you can't see, but they're going to fix your eye. And then I got better. And then, you know, now things are... Anyway. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon.